All right, so if you follow the TRZ YouTube channel, you probably know that Diablo blades are my favorite blades. But that said, today we got some new... You know what, I'm not gonna go into it. Let, let me just explain it this way. Blades, blades, Diablo blades. Today we're touching some of their new blades. They state that they'll last a hundred times longer. I guess that means that they are stronger. So what we're gonna do is put them to the test and see if they'll last longer than the rest. Can't wait to put them in my Super Sawzall. See a car by teeth make a difference at all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at all these blades. We're gonna put them to the test today. So get some crap, hit that bell notification and see if these car by teeth make a difference at all. Today we got some blades called Amped. Yeah, I say I'm Amped, all right. And yes, of course, they are from Diablo. Now these are for thick metal, and it just so happens to be that we have some thick metal. So right now I am at my highly sophisticated test laboratory. And during this test, we will be using the Milwaukee IA Super Sawzall. It's a beast. We're also using the 9 amp hour HD M18 red lithium battery. And of course, the test subject. It's basically an old post. You got a quarter inch thick up on front. And then on the back, we got some half inch steel. So half inch, quarter inch, it's time to slice and dice. For the Diablo blades, again, they're amped. Nine inch thick metal, this is able to cut down through. Well, at least so they claim. It's the amped carbide teeth, carbide, I'm happy to see. This is a three pack. I will put a link in the description below for you to check it out yourself. They also say you get 100 times more life with these blades. I guess 100 times more life is still, you know, compared to their last blade. That, that's what I'm assuming anyway. All right, so what's going to happen is I am going to use the exact same blade for every cut. I want to look at longevity. Not only do I want to see if it cuts through good, I want to make sure that these things last. And remember, these are metal blades, so we will not be cutting through wood today. Simply heavy metal. Ow! That said, there is no moisture content in this metal, so it shouldn't affect the blade cutting or slowness or whatever. Long story short, this piece of steel is not very moist. All right, so we just put our blade in the Milwaukee IA Super Saza. It's ready to go. The orbital action is set to off, and we're just gonna cut right down here. We're gonna cut a ring right through this quarter inch steel post. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna move it over to the half inch. And we're gonna see how these teeth hold up. Three, two, one, go. Oh my God, that was not sped up at all. That was the fastest I've ever cut down through this before. That was insane. Usually cutting down through this metal, the way it's shaped, you know, you get some teeth missing, you know, right off the bat on other metal blades, but these are still perfect. That was insane. I just found out that my blade was not going the fastest it could. I had to set on like three and a half, maybe four, and this goes up to five. So we're gonna do this one more time. Here we go. Three, two, one. Wow, that is awesome. And again, just to show you, the paint's chipped off the blade, but the blades are fine. Now we're gonna cut through that half inch. All right, we got that half inch monstrous stuff right here, and we're just gonna make a couple slices, and the dice is going down through this plate, and I'm gonna see how it holds up. We're gonna adjust this shoe a little bit. I don't want the sitting on the blade the entire time, you know, in the same place. So we'll, we'll make a couple different cuts, but we'll adjust this shoe because we can. That's what these shoes are meant for. I also don't want that blade to weevil wobble. All right, so we're gonna cut down through this right now. And FYI, they do have shorter blades, but I wanna continue using the same blade. I wanna see what it can do or what it can't. All right, three, 
two, one. Here. I'm going to do another cut just like that right here and we're just going to see how this blade holds up. But I want to see if I can cut down one more time through this quarter inch section and we're going to look at the teeth again. Trying to give you different views here. Again, I'm not going to put a lot of pressure down. I'm just going to you know, give it a little bit of weight to keep it from moving all over the place. But here we go. Three, two, one. Freaking awesome, man. Freaking awesome. All right, so let me show you what we're looking at here real quick. Again, I cut down through this three times. Quarter inch steel. One, two, three. We cut down through the base of that. That was a half inch piece of steel two times. Now, let's go in and take a look at this blade and see how it held up. All right, now check this out. This is the exact same blade that we use. This is the only blade we use to make all those cuts. Every one of those teeth are perfectly still in place. And that's real nice. Like. All right, so let me say something. When I did the video for the multi-tool blade, the carbide teeth, multi-diablo blades, I had a couple comments saying, well, it seems like uh, you're pretty hyped about these. Or like I was trying to blow them up bigger than what they were gonna be. If you buy them, that's great. If you don't buy these blades, that's fine too. I don't care. I'm just letting you know. When I put these things to the test and I get excited about something like that, that means I think it works. So you can take that with you to the bank if you want to or not. It doesn't matter to me. However, what I'm telling you is these blades are phenomenal. I don't sell these blades. I don't get money from this company to use these blades. But what I will tell you is, but what I will tell you is the subscriber base is number one. And if I think something works awesome, I'm going to tell you. And if they don't work awesome, I'm going to tell you. Are these a little bit pricey? Yeah, a little bit, but they're going to last you a hell of a lot longer than some cheap blades. So you're going to get your money back anyway. Not to mention, these are the fastest cutting blades I have ever used when it comes to at least that post out there. I have used many blades on that post out there, and these are insane. So the Amped Carbide Teeth Blades, I'm telling you, check these things out. You will not be disappointed. Again, I'll leave a link in the description below. It's an affiliate link. If you want to buy through that link, it helps the channel. If you don't, that's fine too. But what I would appreciate is if you could smash that like button if this video has helped you in any sort of way. Also, leave me a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about these blades. Have you used them yet? Are you thinking about using them? How do you think they performed during the test that we ran it through? Love hearing your feedback. Now, I always appreciate you stopping by. And with that, we'll be back with more videos soon.